Yes, guys, it's Mr. I Love House in the building. You know, it's season three, so you know I had to get the best in the building. We've got Poppy. Was it Poppy Ray? Poppy Ray. How yeah, are you doing, Poppy? Poppy Ray. I'm good, man. How are you? I'm fine, you know. Good. You know, um, I've been watching your movement for time. Yeah, we've had a lot of back and forth. Yeah, we've been yeah, speaking yeah. for a while. It's been, it's been, it it's been overdue, man. Mm. Um, I feel like you need to explain to the world what your, yeah. what your mission is, what I'm about. how you started, yeah. what your end goal is. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, first and foremost, very talented. Thank you. Do you yeah, know what I mean? It, um, I been to a couple of ways where you shite down. I'm yeah. not even glad, <laughs> y'all. Do you know what I mean? I'm a fan. I'll be honest. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, like, I love what you're doing. Like, mm. where, when did you start? Like, how did, what was your, what was your mission? Like, um, well, I, I actually started DJing when I was 15. So I'm 22 now. Um, I just kind of always grew up around, all well, my aunties are ravers and I kind of grew, grew up around that music. And, um, I remember just discovering raves, like just just on my laptop. Um, I remember watching videos of raves, just thinking, "Oh, I'd like it'll be so good." Yeah, as soon good. as I'm 18, I'm gonna get out uh, there and I'm yeah. gonna do it. Um, and then I got my first pair of decks for Christmas, and then I just taught myself from there. Knew um, knew a couple of boys local in Bexley Heath who did little events in Arcadia. Have you ever been to? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Arcadia I started off in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Fucking hell. I know, trust me, literally up the road from me. Oh, oh do you know what, actually? I remember my, uh, it was like the first or second set I ever played. Um, I got up there, put my stick in, played about one song, and it, my whole memory set corrupted. And I remember just getting no. booed by the whole crowd. Trust okay. me, bad energy in there. Um, <laughs> bad <laughs> energy, yeah. Honestly, I was traveling with like five memory sticks for ages because I, I would just. Yeah, like, that can happen again, though, innit? I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, that's where it that's where it all started. Um and then obviously from there started doing things out in London. We kind of moved from Bexley Heath to London. Um and then just networking, you know, building up my my Instagram, uh, people messaging me, seeing my stuff and yeah. just just going out and having fun and meeting people, making friends. And um yeah, it's just always been something that I that I love. love I just have do. such a passion for yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Networking's yeah. the key, you know? It really is. I think networking's the key. The only thing is that you have to go out quite a lot. Yeah, I do though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? So obviously it helps, innit? Obviously yeah. I can see that you're around the right people. Yeah. I see I see everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like you're around the right people, so mm. I feel like they will look after you, you know what I mean? Agreed, yeah. I very much think that. It's taken me a long while to be where I'm at though. Like... I feel like where I literally knew absolutely no one from the industry, like the only reason I know everyone is obviously because of DJ and I didn't know anyone who even did events before I even yeah. started. So I feel like it's taken me a while to build up my profile and meet the right people and kind of gain a respect in yeah, a way. That's the word, respect. Because yeah, I yeah, felt yeah. like maybe until recently, um, not that people didn't respect me, but I feel like I had to show up. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? And I feel like only now... Um, or last year, actually last year, really, I feel like that's when people clocked on and was like, oh, like she's actually serious about it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy like with the people I'm around. I'm happy we did this podcast when we have as well. I feel like I'm just happy at the minute. Just happy, <laughs> man. Yeah, what just so you? happy. It's um, even the people, obviously I'm a tech house man, isn't it? Yeah. So like I go tech house raves and I mm. mean, obviously I'm open to everything. So like I've seen like, in my head, I've got like the list of everybody coming through and who's yeah. there already. You know what I mean? Obviously, you've been on my radar. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And um, the Le Fiestas, all, especially that, was it Le Fiesta? Yeah. Love I love Juice, them just people. Talking about yeah. Love Juice as well. Fiesta, I, the juice. vibes are always good. Yeah, good people. Always good, good people vibes. Always, always good well. energy. Yeah. I've never been to any of them raves and there's been an issue. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think they always book the right DJs, mm. including yourself. Do yeah. you know what I mean? So it ends up being like a little family thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Where I feel like when I'm where I'm always playing with, you know, the same people a lot. It's it's so nice. I feel like when I see everyone, yeah, it's just, just love. Just like, good yeah, vibes. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it make you make you feel comfy within yourself when mm. you're playing as well. Oh yeah, so you much. know what I mean. Yeah. So it's like obviously you're young as well. So I yeah. feel like the experience you have though, you you've got mm. a lot of more on your CV yeah. than people who's been DJing for. Quite a while. Yeah, it's crazy. You, you know, know, but like when I tell people um, how old I am, I thought it's older. Like, no so way. I thought it's older. Yeah, it's older. <laughs> a lot yeah, of people yeah. say that to me. I literally turned twenty-two in January. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm still a baby, which is. But I like it though. I'm, I'm, 
building something at the minute. So mm. um, I'm just, I'm having fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I don't want it to get to that point yet where it starts to become a chore. Yeah. Or, yeah, so... I don't think I don't think I don't think it'll ever get like that, you know. I hope not. Nah, I feel mm. like it's so early. So I'll say I'll say I'll say you're mainstream now anyway. That's how I'm looking yeah. at it. I'm not even gonna say because you're not underground, you know what I mean? No. Um so how long have you been on the main though? Um what like, like say, say like love okay, juice do you think or... you you've started popping off within the last five years, the three to four years? No. Oh, last okay. year. Last, oh, last year. year, properly. Last year was I when think you... the biggest year for me, okay. massively. Um, I started off the year. I started off the year in literally in January. I entered the Hannah Wants competition. Yeah, I see that. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah I see that. So, um, so yeah, I did that. Um, submitted it like the day before my birthday, and then ended up winning it, which was just crazy. I remember just getting out of the shower and I, I see someone ringing me. I was thinking, I'm not going to answer that. I don't really answer that. <laughs> and then I realised it was Hannah Watts. I was like, you're lying, like, no way. Um, and then, yeah, so she picked a certain amount of winners and then each winner would join her on um, one of her tour dates. So I went to Cardiff, which was, like, sick. insane. Sick. Yeah, sick. it was sick. wicked. Um, so that was that, that, that was my biggest show up up till up till then, yeah. And then um I got clocked on by Sam Devine, ended up joining her at Steel Yard for a Cloud yeah, Nine tour, which was incredible. I, oh, I love Steel Yard so good. That was that's still one of like my favourite sets ever. Yeah. Um and then I did Elro, which oh, was yeah. crazy. It was one of the littlest Sick. stages but it was just it was so Elro good to be Sick. there. Yeah. Sick. That's so massive. It's huge. Is it? Put respect to yourself, yeah. you know. That's not small, small. Nah. You're not around small people as well, you know. You're yeah. around proper established people, you know. Crazy, I mean? yeah. I, I just felt so lucky to be there. Cause I've, been, I've been seeing these DJs like Hannah Wants and Sound Divine and Elro and even Love Juice. I remember saying to Jordan, who owns Shelley, I was, I was like, I, I want to get on La Fiesta and I want to get on Love Juice. He was like, we're going to make it happen. And I didn't think I was going to be able to get there, but... It happened, and yeah. just just to be seeing all the all these events and these DJs that I've been following since I was yeah, eighteen, yeah, 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 yeah. and like now I'm there playing with them, which is crazy. Like, it's a full circle moment, massively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's work rate. It's, it's, it's literally just work rate. Yeah, you have to be unique. I think mm. you have to have you have to be authentic. You have to have your own style. I feel like that's the only way you can really stand out as a DJ nowadays. Because mm. I feel like everyone's DJing. Everyone. Like, this must be realistic. The last three to four years, there's just DJs coming out the woodwork. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's true. not an issue. I love new talent. You know what I mean? Mm. But um, I like I like when people are different. Mm. You know what I mean? That's what stands out, and I've noticed that you're different. Yeah. Like I see, I see the whole list, and literally I listen to everybody's mixes, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like yeah. I do this religiously. Do you know what I mean? So it's like Sam Devine's not wrong. Do you know what I mean? Mm. All them people made you come and DJ for them. Yeah. They're not wrong. Yeah. Like you're doing something good. So I just feel like just don't put your just, just keep putting your foot on the pedal. Yeah. Like, don't, don't, don't stop. start slacking. Yeah. Don't like, it's easy to, it's easy, yeah. not easy as well. It's easy to get a big head. Mm -hmm. It's easy to feel like, oh, bro, like, yeah, like I'm there. Like, mm. it's easy to start being a bit snobby. Like, mm. it's, it's, it's very easy. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But, um, nah, man, you're good, man. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? You. It's just, no, it's I just, it's just, it. it's just all work rate. Yeah. It's all work rate. You know yeah. what I mean? And, um, yeah, I just, I, I just, yeah, I love what you're doing. Thank you. I know you love what you're doing. I as love well, what you know I'm what I mean? doing as well. Yeah, I really do, and I, I love that people can see that I love it as well. Um, Cause yeah, I think that I think that's what got me down as well. Because where I'd had so many big sets last year, and I was so proud of myself, um, it got to about October, and things was quiet. And then I was like, I'm slacking. Like, what am I gonna do? They're like, that's it for me. It just went like that and that. It happens, though. It, of course, it's, it's, it happens. Yeah, exactly. It does, and that's that's what I was learning because where that was my first big year where everything just seemed right. to happen so quickly, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then it stopped, and I was like, oh my god, what now? Um, but yeah, and that's that's what I learned on the way, and I'm I'm in a much better place now. I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm enjoying myself. I've got good people around me. Um, people who support me as well. So you no, know it's as well being proactive. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If you know, cool, I ain't got a book in that weekend. Maybe search for music. Yeah. If you search for music, maybe put out a mix. Maybe yeah. if thing, maybe start producing. Maybe mm -hmm. start learning how to. You know what I mean? Start yeah. producing. Maybe 
Like it's, it's, there's always something to do. Mm-hmm. I think that's where people go wrong. I think when people think they ain't got a booking or nothing, they just sit there and be like, ah, sweet, it's mm. a weekend off. It's not a weekend off. Mm. Not in this world. Because somebody's always doing something when you're not. Somebody would always want to be where you are. You dig? Mm. So it's like... People putting in the work to do that. Yeah, it's well. what I'm trying to say. So it's like, it's not It's not even that you're lucky. You're putting in the work. Like I, me, I believe in luck, but I don't believe in luck. I feel like when mm. you put in work, you, 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 you deserve to be there. Yeah, for you know real. What I'm trying to yeah, say, you so do. it's like you, you do. do your thing. Yeah, you're you there. can get opportunities, but it's what you do with that opportunity. Where are you gonna take that? Exactly. Are you just gonna get the opportunity and let it sit there and exactly. leave it to where it dies, or exactly. are you gonna take it and just grab it and go with it and go with it? Yeah, you know what I mean, so it's just it's just it's just about running with it. I just feel like maybe obviously you're a DJ, I'm not DJ. I, me, I set myself targets in it. So yeah. In my head, maybe for example, I might want to be on BBC One Extra in two years, or yeah. maybe I want to be there in two years. I feel like. Maybe you want to be in Ibiza for two years. Maybe yeah. you want to be in Croatia in a year. Yeah. Maybe I just feel like that's where last year was a big year, uh-huh. and I feel like it's only gonna get bigger. You know what I mean? Abroad, I feel like abroad. Yeah. I did abroad last year. Actually. Where did you go? Where did you go last year? Um, Marbella. Oh, sick! Yeah, we did I didn't uh, know that. twice sick. out there with uh, with the event that I'm a resident with Chalet. I've been a resident with them for about two Chalet, years. I keep now. saying the name wrong. Yeah, would you say? How do you say it? Chalet. I was like, Chalet. Yeah. <laughs> Chalet, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone Chalet. said that to me. Chalet. They're like, oh, you, you pay for that Chalet, innit? That's why I didn't want to say it, because I thought that like, is best side of thingies, but yeah, you're wrestling yeah, with them. Chalet. Right? Yeah, 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 I've yeah. been with them for um, two years now. Sick. Which is, is nice to see. I think I joined them on their first, uh, second ever event, I think it was, Sick. in Block 40, just in Essex. Oh, in Redwood. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know the geezer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and um, just to see and be on that journey with them and see how much... We've built it up and we, we did Marbella last year twice. That must have been serious. That was crazy, yeah. I'm going, we've got it again next month. Hey. Uh, July and August as well. All so summer happens. started next month then, basically, technically. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, summer, yeah. yeah. I'm oh, so excited. Never been Marbella, you know? Was it proper? I love proper? it there. I really love it there. I actually like it more than Ibiza. Was it like a Ibiza. Bush Ibiza? I say that. Or is yeah. it like a more classy Ibiza? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Very, it's very much chilled in the day. Um... Yeah, and then been. it gets lively at night, and obviously, like you, you have clubs that are actually still open till six. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I beef was too much for me, man. I can't do it. I some stories, bro. I can't. I beef was too, too much, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Early. I've done the whole madness is out there. Yeah, I think you should still play out there, though. Oh yeah, no, I'd love to. As well. I'd yeah, love yeah, to. Yeah, I yeah. really would love to. It was just, um, I'd never been I beef before, cause um, when all my friends went, I think I was only eighteen, so I didn't. Couldn't, yeah, couldn't do it, it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was like way that. too young, and obviously they was all older than me, and then I was. It just couldn't happen. So, and then we had lockdown, so we couldn't go. So it all yeah, got moved yeah, to yeah, yeah. literally last year. So that that was the first time I'd ever been to Ibiza, and it was just too much. Too much. Yeah, too I much, was ill it? for like four months. Oh, yeah. when you come back, it's just fucked. Yeah, yeah awful, yeah. awful. It's probably just all the shit out of there, mm-hmm. man. So, what even lockdown? How did lockdown treat you? Um. Musically, was you was you not as strongly on that journey then? Because obviously that's about three years ago, isn't it? Yeah, years I, years ago, I was wearing then. dresses back then. That was <laughs> <time>. <laughs> it was weird. Um, but I did a lot of lives in lockdown, actually. Um, I was doing like garage lives. And, okay, oh, yeah. so that you, uh, it's all mixed. You play garage in that as well, yeah? yeah Old school garage in that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sick, that, sick. That's what all my mum and my aunties listen yeah, to, sick. garage and jungle. So sick, sick. That's, that's what I love. Um, but yeah, I was doing a lot of lives and just mixing, mixing loads. I still worked in lockdown, so it wasn't really, yeah, yeah, it wasn't that much of a lockdown for well, me. You're still doing what you're doing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, I was just getting on mixes. I did a lot of sit down ones at Arcadia, um, a lot of them. Uh, I feel like lockdown was a weird time. It kind of feels a bit like hazy, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I don't really yeah, know yeah. what happened, yeah, but. Yeah. Just come, just come went yeah, it, it yeah, was, yeah, it was odd. It was an odd time. I think but, a lot of DJs came through then as well. I thought I, I feel like because a lot of people were focusing on the screen, I saw mm. a lot more DJs come through then. You know what I mean? Yeah, I lives think... was really popping off. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, remember yeah, I, with yeah. this event we did, they, we actually did set times for the live. <laughs> for lives. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> so yeah, like yeah. everyone would jump on the account at their set time and do their do live. live. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had a lot of fun doing that though. I started doing lives more recently actually, um, which I'm enjoying because I. I went kind of quiet on socials for a long while, like with my uh, content and stuff. Was, was what, quite Justin, slacking. Like, what during then or just in general? Just now in general, just, oh, like okay, like okay. I did a lot of live back then, and then kind of nothing, and then um, yeah, my content was just really slacking. 
I think, like I think social ago. media is hard, man. I think so hard. to keep on top of it. I think when you keep looking at other people's stuff, it makes you want to do stuff. That's why. That's why I don't do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll go on it, but I don't scroll. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't. I don't. To be to be fair, I've unfollowed a lot of like social media influencers and stuff mm-hmm. for mental for mental self. You know. Um, Cause some, I think a lot of people. Not that you want to be like somebody, but if you're just chilling, you're scrolling. Instagram could play with your mood, you know. Mm-hmm. Like it could, you could, you could have a, you could have a shit day, and you see something what just relates to the shit day, yeah. and it will just bring you down. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, man. Like it's, it's very like. I didn't know in a, Instagram's like work. I didn't know it's so. It's, it's. Well, to me, it's man, I'm, on, I'm on Instagram. I, ha- I technically have to be on that shit every day, and yeah. so me, my shit, like. Before Christmas, I had, had I had I had a month off. Yeah, you need to. I had to. You need to. And I, thought, I started feeling all like, mm-hmm. oh shit, like, yeah, like I don't know what it was. I don't know what this feeling was. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had to have a month off, and it was refreshing. So refreshing, isn't it? Refreshing. I, I don't go on my Instagram about past eight o'clock. Yeah, or something. Yeah. You got you just yeah. like you've actually got to have business hours for your social media. Yeah, it's mad. You just you can't you can't be on it that much. Like, I think it's so hard as well. I have a lot of people that I'm around that are succeeding and don't get me wrong, I'm I'm happy for them. Like I love seeing my people win. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. Um but it's hard not to compare yourself to that and fit and you know yeah, 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 kind of yeah. feel like oh, shit boy, I should be that or I You don't you don't feel bad on them, but you want it. Yeah, well. yeah, obviously you want so the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So it's it's kind of hard not to maybe at times feel a type of way. I feel like I've kind of got out of that. Headspace now. Yeah, but I do understand it. I yeah. do get it. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just it's it's tough. I feel like social media is tough. Content is tough. You see, like you see, like f- how how I look at things as well. You see, like if you DJ, say like you're DJing. Mm. Me, if I was a DJ, I'll have a lot of self equipment. So I'll have like a stick facing me. I'll have fair mm-hmm. shit. So I feel like content wise, I wouldn't run out of content. I feel like. Don't you think like sometimes when you DJ, don't you have people? Don't you have like your own little? What do they call them? What are they called GoPro? Are they called GoPros? Is it GoPros? Um, what like the little camera? Yeah, it just faces you and stuff. So when you're doing your whole set, don't you don't you have like footage when someone like is facing you? And I don't actually, you? do you know what? I actually don't, but I've sure, I've know. been thinking about sure. things like that as well. Um, actually at Love Juice, uh, that I did last weekend, I played in the loft, and um, the camera guy had like just a little stand for your phone that you can put your phone oh, on. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I was like, what? never even yeah, thought that before i just recorded my whole set on it and um see what i'm saying and you can yeah i need up. to look into things like that yeah, you, you, i do you have to invest in yourself and the things about yeah. it, they're only right for mm-hmm. you to have you need as much footage of yourself djing yeah, yeah. as much footage because you could chop that hour set up 10 15 times mm. you could post you could be posting that for the next year six months easy because that's what a lot of djs are doing what a lot of djs don't know they're mm. doing one set and they're chopping up about 20 times. Mm-hmm. Every three days, they're just posting a bit of the set. Yeah. Maybe of a promo or something's coming yeah. up. Bang. They post it, post it. And to be fair, reels and videos, that's where you get the most transactions. It's mm-hmm. just, not even about transactions. That's when you get the most, like, um, you know what I'm trying to say, innit? That's when yeah. you get the most. I don't know. The word yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. I, but I that's know what you're trying to say, though. Traction. Interaction. Traction. Attraction. Traction. That's it. Traction. That's when you get the most traction. <laughs> Reels, I reckon reels anyway, in it and videos, oh, yeah. It? yeah. So reels are crazy. I think I, I think, don't understand it sometimes. Yeah, no, it's it confusing. Is. It's weird because sometimes I'll get like ten thousand on Saturday and then I'll go for six thousand. It's just weird. Yeah. I post every. I try to post before nine. That's my yeah. technique, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I feel like everyone's on Instagram from eight to like ten, eleven. I yeah, quickly, quickly, like, yeah. on the way to work. On the thing, mm. you know what I mean? So I feel like that's the best time. But I feel like you should get a lot of footage of yourself. That's my advice. Yeah. And obviously, I'm no, just... no, I, I agree. I really do agree. Um, a lot of that's what I've been trying man. to do recently as well because I noticed my content was slacking because where I just had to just come away from Instagram, um, and then you think like, oh, like that's actually my work. I need to be doing that. But I think I just I don't know. I just. I didn't know what to do. I kind of felt a little bit lost. I was like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Like like I don't know what to post. I don't know what I'm happy posting because I won't post a video if I'm not 100% happy with it. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, very... Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick, like, yeah, you yeah. have to be like that. You when I record sure. a mix, I could do it for like five times because I'll just be like so annoyed with it. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah, it has yeah, to, if yeah. I'm going to put something out, I want to want to be 100% proper. happy with it. Yeah, I want to yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I uh, yeah, I just w- didn't know where I was at in my content. Yeah, just footage, I promise you. Yeah. When you whenever you're playing the next time you're playing, even if you fucking 
Sorry for my language. Go on Amazon or go phone shop, get a stand. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get spatter one for this weekend. Spatter it. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, you see, you see the difference within a month or two. You'll see the yeah. difference. Mm. Just, bare fo- just bare content. Because yeah. I've cropped them DJs. They've just got bare footage of themselves. Yeah. Just DJing. Bare footage. Mm. You know what I mean? Or even, um, even a couple of DJ friends, they just get like somebody they know who's just started doing filming. Mm. Someone who's just learning. Yeah. Maybe you just bring them, maybe you get them entry, get them yeah. a little drink. Mm. Just let them work on you. You know what I mean? That's their project working on you, and it's it's this way. This just to be self sufficient, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not about catching up. It's just about being. I thought you have to be relevant in there as well. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people come and go. Mm. They do. You know what yeah. I mean? So you have to be relevant as well. Yeah. You know what that's I mean? what I think. That's where I'm at now. Like, I'm really not trying to rush anything with it. I feel like I'm trying to build a solid platform, solid base. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I that I can then build my brand. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Because you're yeah, a brand. You yeah, are a brand. yeah. Like probably Ray, that even though it's my name, like, that's my brand at the yeah. same time. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm doing at the minute. I I started producing a little while ago as well. I put some music out, but I look back on it now and I ended up taking it all out because I just was not 100 percent happy with it. with it. I was like, that's not me. Yeah. So um, I just tried to rush it. I did it too quickly because I was like. I see everyone putting music out and I was like, I just need to get something yeah, yeah, out yeah. because I need to seem it serious. Like it gets like yeah? that. It gets like that. So, it gets like that. Yeah, so I did that and obviously I'm I'm not happy with it. That's that's not me. So, yeah, right Be now. you though. Don't, one thing though, always be you. Mm-hmm. Be always, my advice, always be you, be humble. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good intentions. Just move your good intention all the yeah. time and you'll be blessed. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And just, just, just be, just be you. Yeah. That's my advice. Yeah, yeah. You know it's I mean? true. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. I promise you, because all the people are not being genuine. They'll fall off themselves. Yeah. They'll naturally fall off themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like I said, the movement, all the movement I see you on, it's, mm. it's, it's top notch. And that's why your name's, like you won't know, but for me, yeah, your name is ringing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everyone's talking, oh yeah, you know, Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> like I said to you, um, off cam, Poppy and Charlotte, at oh. the minute, that's what people are saying. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So that you're doing something good. Thank you. No, I'm you're doing yeah, something good. Yeah. You wouldn't know that because you're like you're the DJ. You wouldn't know who's talking about you no, and who's not talking don't. about you. Do you know what I mean? You so, don't realize how many people do actually know you. Yeah, though, yeah, of being on the scene, like everyone literally knows everyone as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are easily even one person away from some everybody in the scene. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just crazy. It's crazy. I'm, I'm enjoying it at the minute. I'm enjoying the journey definitely. I feel like I'm really finding out who. I am as a DJ as well. Because I feel like when I, when I started at 18, I didn't even, I was yeah. wearing, like, like I said, I was wearing dresses. I didn't even know who I was. Like, <laughs> Poppy's not easy, you know. I didn't even know yeah, who I was. It is, isn't it? Obviously, yeah. people, people find themselves at different times in life. Do you know yeah, what I mean? they do. Like, I'm so, probably going to be different in another you know, no. <laughs> Who knows what I'll be wearing? You know, I'll probably I mean. be strutting around some dungarees or something. It is what it is, you know what yeah. I mean? Once you're still being you, that's the key. <laughs> yeah. Once you're being you and yeah. you're happy within yourself, it doesn't matter what you're doing, innit? Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, who motivates you? So, who, I won't say who you look up to, but who do you listen to? The who, who's the last DJ you're listening to? The last DJ I was listening to? Um, Kay Coleman, actually. Hey, f- yeah. Fuck it, that yeah, was it. It was, yeah. Um, hey. I, yeah, so that was actually the last mix that I was into. I was going through a whole sound oh, ago. Yeah, Kay uh, Coleman's alright. Yeah. She I like hard, her. so hard. I got, I got, I was coming on soon as well. You know, oh, I have you? Yeah, 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 I know him. I'm, I'm yeah, I literally yeah. downloaded a couple of his songs oh, yeah? yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, so you like that kind of house as well, then? Oh yeah, I love deep house. Okay, I'm, okay. I like that. I do. I do like that. I oh, like, sick. Um, I thought you was just like a bubbly techie, just that tech. No, but you like not the deep even, on the ground. Oh, okay, I, I didn't know kinda, that. I kind of like to just include a load of different genres in my mixes. I really need to put out a recent mix actually because I feel like. Um, not that my style's changed, but um, but it's definitely evolved, oh, see, and yeah, I've yeah. become more confident with playing what I want to play, and having the confidence in myself to know that if I love what I'm playing, then you're gonna love what I'm playing. Yeah, sick, sick. So, oh, I didn't know. I didn't think. Oh, not that I would think that, but I just yeah. like, yeah, he's just yeah. yeah but, oh, um, okay, I okay. didn't know, but you know, Miss Chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we, me and her went to the studio the other day. Yeah, I saw so the time of yeah. our lives. Oh, was it alive in that? I saw so. Yeah, that yeah, people. yeah. I was like, that's probably doing <laughs> but I know. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, me that's, and Shad have small talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah but yeah, we, we went to the studio the other day and Shantz 
knows K Khan and their friends and um a couple couple people that I know as well, um, a black part of that group as yeah. well, which is crazy. Like it's, it just freaks me out sometimes that like, everyone knows everyone. That's sick though. But um but yeah, yeah, trust me. So um yeah, she was chatting to her, said she wanted to come studio with us, so uh, I was just checking her out because I've heard of her. I think she did she did one of these, isn't it? No, uh, no, 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 she ain't one of these. No, no, she ain't one of these. No, no, oh, no. no. Coleman's not one of these. No, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what I said, yeah, not yeah, Chance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Coleman's on one of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so early, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to get that. Yeah, yeah I'd seen like, that and I, like I'd, yeah, yeah, she's sick. She's yeah, so sick, funny. sick, sick, yeah, sick, so. sick. I didn't even know you like the deep tech, man. Yeah, I do. I'm I mean, in and out of it, man. I like. I had my moment with the deep. Mm. Yeah, I had my moment with us when I was young, innit? Mm. Do you know what I mean? But I just yeah. want a happy house now. I just want yeah. that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? I get you. I like that as well. Like, I feel like I have my own style, but obviously my style does change to where I am. Yes, I'm not yes, going to start yes, dropping so... deep house in my bed. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? Yeah, People yeah, would just yeah. be like, what is she doing? Um, but, but, and then I like, I like the happy house. I like chilled house. I like... Uh, I like Soulful House. No, that's Soulful House. Yeah, yeah I do. A bit of DJ spin. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, so yeah, you're just all like, obviously you're a music girl, isn't it? So. Yeah, I just love music, you know. Yeah, that's it. Love good music. Um, anything. I like country. Fucking no. Yeah. Anything. Bit of jazz. Bit of blues. Let's <laughs> country. <laughs> You never li- you don't listen to country. No, never. No, no, Chris no, Stapleton no. is so hard. He's proper, no, yeah, he's no, proper, no, man. No, he's no, good. No, he's good. Um. But yeah, I just I just love music. Like I music think that's the key, though. Life. So what's, what about your music search? How do you go? How do you go about that? What's what's your key look, to that? Oh, well, like uh, for my sex. Yeah, stuff. do you go like do you go on beat? What's it beat? I what, look for music beat, every single day. Oh, every day. Every single day. I have about a million private sound uh, private playlists on SoundCloud. And um, you know on Spotify, when you make a playlist, if you go to the bottom and just refresh it, it comes up with kind of music that's picked for you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I so, use Spotify, you know, too tough. Um, yeah, it's good for that. It is good. So I'll make a playlist of all the songs I'm feeling that I like and then kind of go down to the suggested and yeah, just, and just refresh it that. and just like click it. And I'll know within like three seconds if I like a song. Yeah, same Yeah, same. so I'll click on it, skip it to where the drop is. If I'm not feeling it, you're gone. It, so yeah, it's just a bit of that. And then it's the same with SoundCloud. They've actually just introduced the same thing, the suggestion thing, okay, so, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, sick. Yeah, I find yeah. it so helpful. Yeah, because you just find random, yeah, random tunes, so innit? So much random yeah. stuff. Or like, I'll finally come across a song that I've been, I've known for ages, but you know when you just don't know the name of a song and I'm like, oh, there it is. Like, yeah, that's the best. Yeah, you know when yeah, you find yeah. a song that you just know, but you never knew the name. Um, so yeah, that's li- that's literally how I do it. I get my music from free downloads. I get my music from iTunes, from Beatport. From Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Don't you speak to um, producers it. directly? Don't you like kind of a like... couple, a couple? Yeah. Um, I've had people obviously send me their yeah, like, like a their folder, folder or a playlist. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I feel like with me, I'm very specific in what I like. I know what I like, and I know if I'm gonna like it. So. Um, yeah, I think just I don't know. I just I like searching for my own because yeah, it's just self. It's just yeah. It's just I have I have to love it if if I I can't play it if I don't love it. Yeah, obviously you know? I ain't play yeah. Nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah, like um, like I'll always I'll always promote people's tracks like when like my friends always always, but um, but yeah, I just I feel I hold my music very close to me. I feel like um. Yeah, I feel like my sets are not personal, but like, yeah, it's I don't know, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Zone, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 like that's my thing. Like that's my passion. So it has it has to be for me at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, I have yeah. to play for myself. Also, you got to play for the crowd, but yeah. I'll just be playing for myself most of the time. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, though. No. It's, 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 if they like it, they like it. If they don't, yeah. they don't, unfortunately, you know what I, I mean? Yeah, I mean, I think... I, I think uh, what I love about DJing as well is that you can go out and like this DJ can introduce you to like, so much music that music, you didn't even yeah, know. Yeah, know yeah. yeah. And, um, but obviously I like playing the bangs at the same time. I like pl- mixing like, uh, you know, songs that everyone knows, or maybe some like songs that nobody knows. And then it kind of, it's just a whole mix up really, isn't it? Yeah. 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 What about, um, even early sets? What's your take on playing early? I don't mind it. Oh, you don't mind I it? I don't mind it. I'll take anything. But <laughs> it, listen, that's that's a good mentality to yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Because I think a lot of people mm. chat shit. They don't like. They it. don't like playing early. But I do get it. But it's I feel not... like I feel like it's it's 
at the end of the day, innit? It sets yeah. a set, innit? Yeah, cool. Do you know what I mean? If it's okay. early, it's early. If it's mm. not, but I feel like a lot of people do mind. I understand it though, because sometimes you you don't want to play. Not that you're playing to yourself, but you know you want to play peak times. But yeah, everybody wants of to course, play peak times. of course. And I've I feel like, especially where I'm at now, <clears throat> I know I'm not going to be getting peak time in like La Fiesta or or to be fair, I closed the loft at Love Juice the other day, which was which was good. Yeah. That was so fun. Um, but. Yeah, when I did La Fiesta, I opened up uh, Village Underground. But honestly, I had such a good time. I feel like it's important to be a good warm-up because you, you're setting the tone for the whole event. Of course. Every set is important. I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like any sort of time sort is less lesser than the other. Um, but yeah, I don't mind it. Um, like I said, I'm building something at the minute. Of course, you're building. It, so. I think, I like I said, I understand why some people complain about... St- um, DJing early. Yeah, I don't really too. care though. I'll take, like you said, I'll yeah. just take anything, can it? You know what I mean, my name's on a flyer. Yeah. I don't care where, even where my name's on a flyer. I don't care. Yeah, because a lot of people moan about where their names on a flyer as well. Uh-huh. I don't know if you come got to that stage in in the DJing set um, career, like, mm. but a lot of people see like there's maybe be bigger DJs than you, mm-hmm. but they're below you. They don't like that. I don't know if you've had any issues. Oh, with I that thought yet. it was just like A to Z. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Just in like some cool people though. do A to Z. Yeah. And some people don't want their name at the bottom of the flag. There could be DJs be DJing oh. ten years before you, and your name, and they're below you. Yeah. But you wouldn't know. Yeah. You wouldn't know because no. you're the DJ. They, yeah, but they course. were called the promoter saying, "Raw, why is my name below Poppy for? For real. Poppy's been DJing a year, and I've been DJing for like six years. Why is my name below Poppy? What? You didn't you know that's what they do. Right. I didn't even know that, you know. There's a, lot, there's a lot of things that they do, mm, you know what I mean? So it's crazy. Yeah, like names on fry. Like it's all every, every everywhere there's politics, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not that I'm just trying to bring that side of things up in it, no, but it's I'll keep to myself as yeah. much as I can. But like I said, moving good intentions, you'll be fine, innit? Yeah. You keep yourself to yourself, you come and do what you're supposed to do, mm-hmm. you enjoy yourself. And yeah. Fine. You know I feel I mean? like that's what it's like in Australia as well. I know what's business and I know what's real. And I, I feel like you've you've got to separate the two sometimes. 100%. Um Because otherwise it, it just gets messy, innit? 100%, 100%. So, yeah, I try to stay out of things as much as possible. I know who my friends are in the industry as well, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, yeah, and I've got love for them people, people who keep it real with me. If you keep it real, real with me, I'll keep it real with yeah, you, you know 100%. what I mean? So, um but yeah, I didn't even know about that fly thing. Sometimes yes. I don't even think it matters how long you've been DJing. I like, like I said, I've been obviously I've been DJing since I was fifteen. But in the events world, four years now, I know people that have been doing it way less than me. And because of the people that they know, have just taken over me like that. Mm. And like, it's not something that I care about. I understand. Like, I understand that the whole thing is networking anyway. I've just got to work a little bit harder to be where I want to yeah, be. be yeah. But I hold that to myself and I'm proud of myself for that. I just, I'm not going to look down on anyone for doing what I would do in their position. Do you think do you think females get treated equally in the scene? Do you think like, do you reckon like, because even like another thing, a lot of people say like, a lot of girls will get booked or whatever because of their looks. Have you heard? I think, you think that is true, yeah. I do, I, yeah, I, I to a level, I, do, I feel like. Do you think though, maybe because, do you think their looks are being in the crowd though? What do you mean? Like, do you think their looks are bringing in ravers to the to the party? So, for example, if I book you, yeah. Do you, no, sorry, that doesn't make any sense. So, <laughs> if you're a good looking girl, yeah, do you think a lot of male ravers would come because you're a good looking girl? Do you think that's why they book them? Do you think yeah. it's like that kind of scales? Do you reckon? I don't think they do to... with me, but I, I I think it's because I'm not feminine though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like I feel like with some DJs, yeah, it probably is sex appeal. Yeah. Um. Do you think it's they're, they're yeah, talent, yeah. no. They're, they're yeah, talent. no, 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 yeah. I'm not taking away. Not no, taking no, away. of it's course. Like a, it's just like a Yeah, but it is, tr- it is true, though. I I do agree with it on a level. Um, When I first started, I feel like I really had a point to prove. Yeah. Um, I had a lot of people say to me, like, oh, like, especially to my cousin as well, who would come, she comes with me to like, every set. They'd be like, oh, like, she's actually really good. I thought you was, you know, you was just saying it because you're a cousin, but, you know, like, she's actually good. And ever since then, I've always just felt like, I've got a point to prove, yeah. and I prove it every time. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, definitely, I do. I do think that looks do have because I've, I've definitely come across some mediocre DJs, but they look good. Yeah, 
respectfully. Yeah. I'll be so honest, you know what I mean? So yeah. I definitely think that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. It is what it is, isn't it? I don't know if that's the promoter's technique to bring them is. in. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. But I like good music, innit? Like, yeah, me too. Uh, and like, I got I got a good ear for all of that stuff. Like I got a, mm-hmm. like my ears sharp. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like I clanging and everything. Like I know mm-hmm. everything. I know the clanging before it's coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I know. So it's like I'm not having even if, like a lot of people message me. Oh, can I come on, come on, come on? But look, I don't care. Like if you're not de- if you're not a good DJ mm-hmm. in my eyes or in my books, yeah. Not respectfully. I don't want nothing. I don't. No. You can't. You can't have a conversation. Yeah. You know what I mean? It mm-hmm. doesn't make no sense. Good looking or not. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm always gonna go for. The DJ first. Yeah. As the DJ playing good music first, yeah. no matter what. Do you uh-huh. know what I mean? You look like an elephant, a sheep. But if you're DJing, <laughs> if your DJ is on point, I want to sp- I want to speak to you. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm saying that like, you're on point. It's, it's... Look, you're just on point. Isn't it? Mm. And your name's ringing. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. In a world, you. and you like I said, you wouldn't know. Yeah. And that's good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just. I just want to see you grow and grow and grow yeah, and grow. And I'm excited. Really nice. And you're so young as well. Yeah, That's I know. And you're so young yeah, as well. Yeah, it's like you ain't seen nothing yet. No, nothing. Like, nothing. Like, nothing. Like, I haven't even seen the world yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you've just seen like 5%, 10%. Yeah, like, easy. There's, mm-hmm. there's, there's next venues, yeah, uh-huh. man's been to where you're just, you're in another world. Is it? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like it's, 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 it, I went to some venue in, Os- in Moscow, yeah. Oh. You're like, literally, it's like it's on the top floor, but the 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 um floors like see through, so you can see the the oh rain below. Oh my god, what? But you can see, yeah, there's some mad deep. But I'm just that's saying, mad. that's the that's the levels of the different house, yeah. fucking mm-hmm. thingy. So you know when you be like, oh yeah, all this is London. Listen, you see them, yeah, I want to go and them Albania and yeah. all them. They've got some next fucking. It's another world. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. But, um, you you'll get there. Yeah, no, you'll and that's there. what I'm excited for. You'll I really there. am. Like, I just I'm just enjoying the journey for what it is right now, and um, yeah, like, like you said, like, I've literally seen nothing yet, and I I know that as well. Like, um, but yeah, I'm picking up knowledge all the time. Yeah, well, that's that's the key as well. Day. Knowledge, knowledge yeah. as well. Yeah, it is. It is. I feel like I learn. Ev- I feel like we learn every day anyway, but um. I'm always open to learning new things as well and, you know, having conversations with everyone and just learning about the industry, learning about other people. But I feel like, teach me, but don't belittle me. Yeah, yeah. I because like I've that had that, actually. I have. I have where... It's easy, but it's easy to get it confused as belittling, though. Do you understand? Yeah, but I've... Yeah, no, I do, I do understand, but sometimes I feel like I know when it's coming from a good place. Yes. Because... I can compare two different conversations I've had <clears throat> and I can tell on one side, I know you're coming from a place with love because I'm open to learning. Tell me what I've done wrong. I know, yeah, yeah. And t- tell me how I can do better. And like, do you know, do you know what I mean? Or it's on there. the other yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, or like I've had people talk behind my back and t- tell my friends how I can do better when you can just come to me and we yeah, can have an like, open yeah, conversation like that. Yeah, and I can yeah. listen to you. Um, but yeah, like I'll always appreciate people telling me what I've done wrong and you know. The things about it, yeah, as well, what a lot of people don't understand, a lot of people, not everyone's going to take to you no matter what. Oh no, of course not. Not everyone's going to like, like there's some DJs you like, there's some DJs you don't like, do you know mm. what I mean? And I think that's what even DJs who are, who's coming up in there as well, they need to be prepared for both sides. Mm. And I think a lot of people are not prepared for the sides where they don't like you or not yeah. that they don't like you as a person that yeah. they don't think like, oh yeah, not the greatest DJ. Yeah. I think a lot of people are not prepared for that side of things. You know what I mean? yeah. But I feel like that's nothing. That should just motivate you mm-hmm. to do better. Yeah. Not even to do better. Sorry, that's the wrong word. That should just motivate you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I always get, mo- I'm always motivated of like, you see negative stuff around me. I always get motivated of that. They are. To always, to always to just transition, innit? Yeah. To make them like me. Yeah. So in my head, I think, fuck it, cool. I'm going to make you like me. Give yeah. me five months. Give me four months. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? You show up. Yeah, show up again. Mm. I show up regardless. Yeah. But I'm just going to show up again. Yeah. You know what I mean? In a different yeah. way and just hopefully you can go from there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like, I, I feel like that's very true as well. Like, like I said to you, I feel like I've got a point to prove <clears throat> and that's what motivates me, really. Because um, I feel like when I first kind of come into the Love Juice crowd, um, they're all lovely people. Don't even get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. But where where I'd looked up to Love Juice for so long, I'd been going since I was that like, eighteen, and I'd followed it for so so much time. And to actually be involved 
with that and start to get involved with it, I was so intimidated, like very intimidated. Yeah. I was nervous. I feel I feel like um, the industry intimidates me quite a lot sometimes mm. because where it is, where it is so big and you think it's because it's male dominant as well, or you just not that side oh, of it. I don't care about the men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Like I've, I've, I've had men try to bully on me as well. Like it is, ma- it is mainly men, to be honest. It is mainly the men in the industry. But you know, I, I just, I do me at the end of the day. I believe in myself enough now, so, so I'm happy with with what I do, and I love what I do. So that's the key. You believe in yourself. Yeah. Don't ever not believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. You see, when the day you not believe in yourself. You- Oh uh, yeah, because yeah. I lost it at one point. I lost, I lost like believing myself for for a bit. I, it was actually probably winter last year, which is which is actually when we was having a talk about coming on. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy that we didn't do it then because I wouldn't have even wanted to talk to you about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I just was not was not f- feet. I don't know. I just it's energies. I lost energies, it. man. It's, it's, yeah, it happens. It, it happens, man. It happens. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. It it, it we all we're gonna go like this all the time. But um, I feel like that was the first time I'd really hit a point and was like, "Oh, right, sweet, where am I going from here?" Yeah, yeah. like, what am, am I done out? Like, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. No, nah, it's definitely ups and downs. I could, I promise you that now. Mm. Go quiet. Go yeah, quiet. Go quiet. yeah, it's of like course. Goes, and man. that's that's what I learned now. And I was like, "No, nah, probably you're sick. Shut up." Yeah, you just yeah, have yeah, to. Yeah. I have. I actually have to talk to myself and out loud and yeah, just tell myself to shut up. Like, what? And just be like, what are you doing, bruv? Like, it's all yeah, out. Like, you're sick. You know you're sick. Yeah, you're good, man. Yeah, so. So what's the best event you played at then? Well, my favourite one ever. Really? Oh, it, like it, it, was, it was, my favourite one was probably the, the Sound of Iron Steel Yard. Oh, that... Only because it was, it was, where I was on before Sam, the lights weren't like all popping and that because it was, it was like a, like a warm up to yeah, Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, when I was on there and then there was at this point where all the lights just come on and I just seen the place filled up with so many people and I was like, this is mad crazy. Yeah. And, um, oh, another great one. I did Boat Club Festival. It was it was a couple of years ago yeah, now. Was that? that was my first big one, actually. Where was that? I, that Boat Club. Colesdale I Farm, I think. Yeah, oh, that, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I think yes. it was there. Um, but, did yeah. Do, sorry, so did they do a beef on that, that Boat Club? No, that's not what. No, 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 I don't, I don't think they do. I don't think they do. I don't know. Um, no, they're doing Wiki Woo, I think, this year. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Okay, okay. Um, they're out there the same time that um, we're out there for Chalet with oh, the okay, Goat okay, Club. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like there's there's a lot of. I love Juicy's out there as well at the same time. Yeah. So, that oh, bank holiday is going to be yeah. a bit crazy. Mental. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be so, oh, so excited, man. I love my bank. You've got to put up your prices. <laughs> price this year. Oh, I don't know. I don't like talking about money. I'll leave it to Jordan, honestly. I don't oh, like oh, okay. oh, he's Asian, yeah? Um, well, he's he's the guy that um, owns Chalet in partnership with Dan. So it's them two who own it. Oh, um, right, oh, right. And Jordan Jordan takes care of my emails. Oh, sick, me sick, and money, sick, which sick. Is, Yeah, which is so helpful because I'm such a shit on my phone. Like, I'm so that's bad sick, on that's it. Sick, that's and sick. like, I've, I don't like talking about money. I mm. really don't. It's a, it's a conversation that I'm... I'm getting better at now. Um, Obviously, if you just have your set price, you have your set price. Yeah, that's it, really. yeah. You I think it's it's, it's it. different for some events, but like, uh, not never that much more. But yeah. I was doing sets for for free for two years. It's like, oh, listen, that's nothing. Mm. It's like goes. Yeah, it that's does. Goes. It does, and I, I never. I think the the re, the the main point where I was like, oh, I actually want to do this was when I realised I could even make money from it. That tax I didn't, free. Tax yeah, free. Tax yeah. Literally, free. I was like, well, it's just perfect then, isn't it? Tax free. Um. So yeah, and then yeah, that's when it started. The minute I was like, oh, I can actually turn this into something. I was like, that's it. I I don't I don't give myself any other options. Yeah. It's either this or it's nothing. Yeah. yeah and I want yeah. it. So. Yeah, you want yeah. Yeah. It's hungry. Yeah. Very. So even like even the mental awareness. Do you feel like a lot of people don't really talk about like how. Uh, like how we're speaking about how people with the mental awareness when it uh-huh. comes to Instagram and stuff and that. Do you think, yeah. you think a lot of teachers are going through it a lot and they're just not really saying anything about it? Do you they think? must be because I don't understand Everyone's how human, isn't it? Everyone's human, isn't it? Yeah. So do you think, even down to bookings, do you think that plays with a lot of DJs when they don't get bookings? Definitely. Mentally? Yeah. I, I think it does because I've been through stages where it's played with my head. 
like mad because I feel like, especially like like I said, the reason why I find the industry intimidating sometimes is because there's always eyes on you. Like there's so many people who who are looking at you who who are judging you by not even knowing you. And sometimes I feel like that can be quite heavy, especially if um like I'm happy in myself now, but especially if you're not. Yeah. And I feel like it can be something that can that can really get you down because I feel like we're, we're our own biggest enemy. Like I'm, I'm my biggest fan Trust and me. my biggest hater. So Trust me, yeah. I with myself every day uh-huh. for at least an hour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I've been there. Mm. You be, I just feel like, but everything's a battle though. Oh yeah. How I look at things anyway, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, just bookings. I think bookings are just bookings. I just feel like yeah. it's just it just comes and it goes, mm-hmm. innit? Do you know what I mean? I feel like proactive. the image is probably something that that plays with people more than bookings. Do you reckon? Like, oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. The image, innit? Like, how image, you're how you present. Yeah. Um, honestly, like, I've had like um, like some event people take pictures of me, and I've just got it. I'm like, no, that, that I yeah. just can't. And then uh, I feel like with, maybe if you're an insecure person, that can you know that can get to you at points. Um, but yeah, I think it's all about knowing yourself and just, you know, believing in yourself and cause if you're in a bad space of mind, any, anyway, anything's gonna, yeah, anything. anything's gonna tip you. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, I feel like it has a massive effect on your, on your physical body though. Like sometimes it's just wore me out mm. to the point where it's, I just need to just, just, just be allow distant it. and just like, I'll get home, do nothing. And just, yeah. Yeah. Just have some time away from the world. Yeah. yeah. You, you need your breaks. I feel like it's so important to look after yourself when you're in this industry because it is mentally. so go, go, go mentally and physically. I don't, well, <laughs> I can't really say <laughs> too much. I need to take some of my own advice sometimes. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so is there anything you want to say to your, to your, your ravers, your house ravers and your fans before we wrap it up? Is there anything, um, any advice you want to give to DJs who, who want to follow your footsteps who are trying to come through as well? Um, just for, yeah, for the DJs, just never compare yourself to anyone else. Um, uh, cause I feel like, yeah, I feel like everyone's always trying to be someone else or trying to beat someone. And you, I think you just have to have, <clears throat> have to have faith in yourself and just, um, yeah. And just, just don't compare yourself to anyone else because you're you, isn't it? And yeah. you, you hold that, hold that to yourself. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and just just enjoy it. Go out, have fun. Don't take life too seriously. Trust but me. when the work needs to get done, get it done because there's always going to be someone who's it. getting it done. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. Oh, All right, sweet. Poppy. <laughs> Thanks for coming down, love. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It was overdue, me. though. Overdue. Yeah, it's so overdue. Um, I feel like you've got lots more to come. You know what I mean? Hopefully. <laughs> Platform's bigger, we'll bigger. Be back. we'll be back again. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Holding your phone, but thanks for coming down. No, yeah, man. thank you for having you. me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've had a really good time. Right, a good time. Thanks. Thank you.